Hi, it's Kernatex here in a video that shows how to prepare Fedora Workstation 33 for use as a host to build Linux from scratch uh, 10.0, although it should work, this method should work for any other versions. So I've got a default installation of Fedora here that I'm just booting and I'll just go through some of the things that need to be done to uh, ensure that the installation of Fedora as a host is um, up to requirements. There's a, there's a chapter in the Linux from Scratch book called Host System Requirements chap Chapter 2.2 .2, um, and it has a script where you can check to see um, that your system, your Fedora system, is actually ready for compiling Linux from scratch. So I'll just log in. So I say this is a just a standard installation. There's no extras. I've um, it's up to date, fully up to date. Uh, it could be that if you've installed other stuff. The, some of the packages that um, I install are already installed on on your system. So I'll just get that up. Get the uh, web page up. The Linux from scratch website just to show you the page in the book that I'm referring to. So, so Linux from scratch, read online, stable, and it's this part here, host system requirements. So you can see it lists all the um, the packages that are needed and the minimum versions. And there's this script here that you can copy and paste in to find out whether you have the correct packages installed and the correct versions. So I'll just make this font a little bit bigger and this window a little bit bigger. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is go into root. Oops. And I've got this script already on a separate partition so I'm just going to mount that partition so that I can run it. It's just to save me having to copy and paste the script over all the different distributions that I'm doing this for. So I'm going to run it now. And you can see straight away there's a few command not found messages. So I'll just go through each one of these and um, show the commands I use to, to fix those problems. So the first thing we've got, well there's a problem, you can see the bash release is fine, the sim links there, bin utils have got, the first one we've got a problem is bison. So what we need to do is to run command yum install bison. Now you might be thinking if you know Fedora quite well that, you know, why don't you use the graphical front end? Well, if you're building Linux from scratch, you're going to be typing everything at the command prompt. So um, may as well just you know do this um, this this way it's probably easier get used to the command prompt if you're not particularly used to it uh, one thing I should point out is that um, it's going to pull in m4 as as part of the bison install and you'll see that if I go back up here um, somewhere here yeah m4 is a missing one so it's it shows it's quite a good idea to just go through and install one of these at the time rather than just going and doing one install statement you know um, yum install m4 patch make info etc um, so it's usually best to do things a stage at a time and it certainly is in this case because um, it's one less command you have to run if you like So that's installed. So what I'm going to do now is to run the version check again to see what the next thing is that I need to install. And you'll see the Bison's installed, but the 
yak hasn't been installed um, so what we need to do is we need to create the sim link for that so we can do it with ln minus svf um, the s is for a sim link a soft link v is to be verbose and f is to force it in case anything exists and we want to link um, the binary which is user bin bison and we want to create a link off of that program and call it yak so just put it in user bin yak and you can see that's created the sim link called yak and it's pointing to the bison binary so now that means if I rerun this script you can see that the yak link has been found and there's no errors or anything so let's go down the list and just check each line of course you still need to check the version numbers but um, assuming you've got the latest version of Fedora and it's all up to date there shouldn't really be I can't see there'd be any problems with the um, versions of the software so next thing we've got we've got the C compiler but we haven't got the C++ compiler so we need to install that next so let's do that yum install GCC sorry G++ and you can see it's uh, got a couple of files there to install so let's do yes we want that installed And that's done, so let's rerun the script. And there it is, it's installed fine. It says the libc grep gzip kernel m4 make. Right, so we need patch next. So let's install patch. Yum install patch. And yes, you can see there's a couple of other dependence is going to be installed ok and we'll rerun the script again and it looks like all we've got left is make info now make info is actually a program rather than package so if you try to do something like yum install make info it will probably fail because that's not the name of the package um, the name of the package you want is text info which contains the make info program and you can see that pulls in quite a few other little programs or packages rather so let them run in and that's done so one last time let's just run the script and just go down each line just to double check that everything's installed and there's no errors no warnings etc all looks good all version numbers there and of course the thing to do now would be to go through comparing the version numbers here with the version numbers in the book before you carry on but I won't do that because that's straightforward to do if you do find a discrepancy then that's something you have to resolve by um, pulling in maybe a newer beta version but as I say I, th I think as long as the um, uh, Fedora distribution is up to date then there shouldn't be any issues with that you shouldn't get that sort of problem so that's it then you can uh, once you're at that stage you can carry on building Linux from scratch if you found this video useful please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to hear about other videos similar to this. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.